Ons account John Macropoli Night Queen Nant in welcome another episode right here the catch up with some of your favorite artists in Fernand I am chatting to Christian Bartman you like it my bro Nee jy kom ons nou sien lekker Yes yes jy like Jy is rustig. Ek is, ek is so bang dat die winter vroeg kom. Nee. Ja. Die reen het my so afgesit. Ek is net, ek is bezig om positive summer vibes uit te stoot. Ja. Dat ons net nog een bykie son kan hee. <laughs> Asseblief. <laughs> but like I said, it's all about that comfortability, you know, when you come onto the set, just be you. Verstaan jy? If you come here with pyjamas, jy is ook baar welkom dit te doen. Dankie, dankie. Tijd. Luister, so wie is Christian Bartman? in what is your music all about? Well, at the moment, it's 25% visceral fat, <laughs> but we're working on that. Um, <coughs> blame, it on, blame it on the ice car, so don't worry. <laughs> Mr. D. <laughs> <laughs> blame it on the ice car. So, yeah, um, I am I'm a singer-songwriter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see myself first as a songwriter, then as a singer. And, yeah. uh, and I like to... I like to to comment on human nature through music, mm-hmm. but in a way that everybody can relate to it, you know? There's no point in having this Pablo Norido level poetry and nobody can really get what it's about. Mm-hmm. So I like to, t- to, to write about things that are relevant, like marriage and relationships and, and yourself, yeah. and, and having peace with who you are in a fun and relatable way. Now, a lot of artists took, I wouldn't say a knock, but it was, it was a difficult time for them during the lockdown. Uh, did it affect you anyway, somehow, in terms of your music career? Well, financially, it was the biggest knock I've ever had in my career. Mm. But uh, <laughs> out of uh, exposure, it was massive for me. Um, I started doing online shows. I, mm. I've done 84 online Yo, shows. That's a lot. Uh, it was so... Uh, I had uh, over 180, 130,000 unique viewers in the first month. <clears throat> it was so successful that CNN International picked it up and wow. did an interview with me about it. Wow. So I literally had exponential growth in my career. I was like, I'm not too famous. I was like, no, it's not. Hello, mama. It's a TF here. So what would you be doing if it wasn't out of music? In fact, what would you be doing if you're not doing music? <sighs> music is my everything. I'm like, yeah. I was seven years old when I decided I want to be a musician, you know? Yeah. So... Um, so within that being said, as humans and people are a big passion of mine. So I'm currently studying psychology mm. and counseling um, just because I think that, that it's very important to know who you are, mm. you know, because we have this big struggle as humans to find peace and happiness. But we can't find those things if we don't know where to start from. And that's a very big part of who I am. And also you can see it in my music, like, like who are you inside are you just going for the most Instagram likes, YouTube views? Mm. You know, do you need to have 50 layers of Mac makeup on your face? Or can you find peace and love within yourself without these superficial things? Mm. And that, those things just enhance your life. It's not supposed to be your life. You know, and that's kind of a big part of my passion, who I am as a person. So, I hear um, Christian is like a great fan from Nashville. What? Nee, nee. Um, <laughs> why Nashville? Is that where you your inspiration mm. Or is it just, what's the story behind it? Let me just start there. What is the story? Why Nashville? What's the story behind it? Liki schrijf is my leven. Ja, ja. Ek het, ek het luie gesê, Liki is eerste muziek tweede. En, um, en dat, dat was, as mense sangre la vir songwriting moet hee, ja. dan is het Nashville. Elke okay. stijl, as elke liekie skryf in die wereld vandag op een liekie skryf, is al genoeg songs in die Nashville Archives, so die volgende 82 jaar, elke nummer 1 kunst in die wereld, um, iets te verskaf. Dis een dis baie interessante feit, dat jy dit geweet het. So, daar is oor die 3000 voltuis liekie skryvers in Nashville. Hmm. So, my, my doel was, in Zuid-Afrika, ons is baie ver uit mekaar uit, en is een baie klein klik. So, as jy nie deels van die klik nie, dan skryf nie, so my samarie ouwens nie. So, Ek het gesikkel om te groei en te leer in Zuid-Afrika, so my behoefte was om die swakste liekie skryver in die kamer te wees. Hmm. En <laughs> toe ek naast wel toe gaan, toe sê ek wow, ok, I'm a beginner, sorry, I'm a novice. <laughs> en dis, dis elke jaar ding? Yes, dis elke jaar, boven nou verkou werd, ja, yeah. maar, ek meen, in Zuid-Afrika, ek, ek sê nou myself, nie is een van die top top, ek sê, maar ek het 91 radio songs in my loop en al geskryf. Wow. So dit is meer as meeste muziek, songraad, yeah. so in Zuid-Afrika word ek gereid, uh, dier Sam Rowe is hmm. een van die top 20 songwriters in die Afrikaanse muziekbedrijf, maar as, jy, as ek Nashville toe gaan, dan val ek letterlijk heel yeah. onderin. So you're not even a drop in the ocean, I'm is that what you're saying? I'm not even on the radar. 
<laughs> so it, it's I learn so much when I go there, and yeah. I grow, and it's just experiencing, it. and also just having the energy of Nashville, just absorbing it and coming yeah. back, and just having that passion and just writing and going. You know? So now, before we get into your performance, yo yo sprinter never ankles nut the best deal. Mm. What's it all about in some of the VHF work? Mm. So, we uh, a lockdown. It was all a bit of 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 a En al het jy met hulle gefaid, al het jy vastgesit, is daai persoon die beste deel van jou dag. Mm. En dis waar die song gaan, het gaan letterlijk oor een man wat by die huis sit, en sy vrou vlieg kaap toe, al oh, in my kop het die story so gewerk. <laughs> en, uh, en die man sit en wacht vir sy vrou om terug te kom huis toe, en hy is net soos, yes man, ek mis jou, jy is die beste deel van my dag. Ja, ja. Ek het die voorraad gehad om saam met Jati de Beer te werk, mm. fenomenale songwriter en producer, hy het vir, vir uh, Joe Blackall gedoen, en redelike groot kunstenaars. En uh, dan het Sean Manley, wat die, die groot mengkracht achter die en so daar, en Rikke Snel, hmm. Robbie Wessels was, vir so, sy so eerste paar albums, um, hy het vir my die, die product ge, gemeng, en vir, vir die, die finale polering gedoen, soos ja. so sê. Ja. So ek, ek hou van om in een span te werk, want jy krij, as jy alleen werk in die ding, dan, dan krij jy baie een of twee dimensionele um, vision oor die, ja. oor die project. So Jatte het vir my gehelp om die product mooi klaar te skryf, te produce, Sean het ingekom om net mooi radiovriendelijk gemaakt en gepoleer, hmm. en so bou ons saam producte. So as die liekje nou beskikbaar op, op um, wat jy weet het, iTunes, Spotify? Alle, uh, alle platforms waar jy kan ja. denk, hulle, jy kan om ja. Google, jy kan om YouTube, jy kan om Yahoo, ja. jy kan om <laughs> Yahoo, <laughs> jy kan om Yahoo, <laughs> <Let's Let's> go- <laughs> Tesla, hmm. Elon Musk <laughs> Google dit. Google. Luister, go check it out. Die beste deal, Christian Bartman. In fact, coming up next, here he is. Exclusive performance. Mac Rappapai. Nights. Jacaranda FM. Vroeg hoog my koffie, we gaan het dank aan jou. Met jou parfum, wat my nog hier vast hou. Maar die koffie pro, een beetje flow. Flow song. Best deal for 